Miami in the home white. And the tip controlled by Jalen Johnson. And big Monday is underway. Aaron Diga said that's really been the biggest problem that they've had all year. Isaiah Wong fouled by Jalen Johnson. E.J. Stewart, the freshman, nice drive. Then he missed a short. He got his own rebound and has the first Duke bucket of the game. On Jordan Goldwire, senior, one of their team leaders. Okay, so he and Wendell Moore really provide the leadership. Miami defense, and as soon as Wendell Moore caught it, he just took it dead to the basket, went to the other side of the rim. That was really nicely done. He's added muscle from his freshman year to this year, and that was on display there. Nice play by Duke at the other end. Winds up in a dunk for Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson is so talented. He leads Duke in field goal percentage blocks. And now that he's healthy, he, he can... He can be a difference maker because he can do so many things. See, there's plenty of talent on this Miami team. Unfortunately, just not a lot of depth. DJ Stewart. And that's a three. That's one of the worst in the country. And that's a three right on cue. You understand the concept. Two for two from the line for Wendell Moore. Isaiah Wong, the fadeaway. 14 minutes against Clemson. That 26-point win Saturday for the Blue Devils. Duke's been loose with the ball. Goldwire had it slip away, and that's Wong attacking the basket again. In fact, that one four set again for Duke. And executed beautifully. Matthew hurt the dunk. Lonnie the miss for Miami. Hurt just inside the arc. Rattles home along two. Negotiations would have broken down in my household over the straighten up and you know, make your bed thing. Boy, what a rebound by Nasir Brooks. A really good defender, but he's got a much better opportunity to defend in this game because he's guarding a, a more of a low post player than Mark Williams. A lot of times for big guys in high school, in high school they're not allowed to touch anybody. So you're kind of having to learn how physical you can be without fouling. Cameron McGusty, the three, back and forth they go. As a hurricane, Jalen Johnson, no. He's worked on that shot, but that's not really his shot now. Will Euro step to the hoop for Anthony Walker. Uh, not only did I want to see the game, but man, I had a nice hotel room. We're all happy for it. <laughs> Boy, Coach K is beside himself. This is the first time now in the last five games. The previous four games, they did not reach 25 points in the first half. They have 27 now. Back cut by Matthew Hurt. And score over DJ Stewart. Nice job by Stewart to stay in front and not foul. Another turnover. That's just weak with the ball. Surprising. Seven Duke turnovers. Jim Laranega said they get 16 or 17 minutes out of him. They're happy. He doesn't practice much with them. There's Anthony Walker, a line drive from the free throw line. That zone defense a little bit. Walker's an athlete. Man. Setting up inside Wendell Moore, and he was fouled by Olani. Say pay. No, no, no. I just want to <laughs> make sure people are starting to watch the naked gun. Kind of Great steal. And now Duke's able to put some full court pressure on and so the tempo is completely different than it was three minutes ago. And Hurt puts Duke back on top with 2.25 to go. A little bit out of necessity. You'd like to be able to guard it man to man. That's usually what they do, but they played Louisville almost exclusively zone. Goldwire after a wild shot by Harlan Beverly of Miami and now Duke. They need to just try to post this zone to occupy Defenders, good cut. That is way too easy. My goodness. Johnson got his own rebound and scores. And here's the largest lead of the night for Duke now. Miami completely out of sync after they were so impressive for so much of that first half. They get a bucket from Alani. Alani's just got a good ability to score. Just another turnover for Jalen Johnson. Way too easy. I mean, giving up these easy buckets.
in the last four uh, against the Canes overall. This is the only regular season meeting between the two teams this year. Defense leads to offense, and that's just a, a function of youth. Good faith by Wendell Moore. He goes all the way down the lane to score. 60. Leaner good for Anthony Walker. Duke would rather, the Duke coaching staff would rather play man to try to wear this Miami team down a little bit because what a pass. That was a terrific pass. And then Williams, the block. Down three and a half minutes without scoring the Blue Devils. Williams assertive as he has been lately. He banks one home. Made. He has seven in the two games prior to tonight. That's Georgia Tech and Clemson. Shot clock buzzer rebounded by Elijah Olani. Dangerous pass. Made it to Wong. And it sets up McGusty for three. And the Miami lead. Well, they got off for now. You still got to rebound it. Duke didn't rebound it. Miami did. That led to an open three. Goldwire, he rattles home a three. Here's a run out opportunity for Duke. Goldwire stepped inside the three point arc and it's tipped up and in. At least the PA announcer did. Alani, they attack this Duke pressure and Alani will have a chance for a three point play. Just an aggressive take by Elijah Alani. And Duke's in the early stages of the second half. Jalen Johnson working on the Sear. Brooks took a bump and got the bucket. Duke with more of a motion look. Not been knocking threes down at the same rate he did last year, but just off a little high ball screen. Got some penetration, a little pitch behind. And then the contact. Nasir Brooks just brought that arm down and than they had earlier on. Gap. Nice cut to the bucket. He's had a couple of baskets with that type of move. And another Duke turnover. This one by Roach. And it leads to a lay-in for Elijah Lani. Wow. Sloppiness on both sides. Miami got away with this one. But Gusty to Gack for the dunk. By four. Terrific drive, forced help, and Deng Gak from Blair Academy. 8.20 to go. And they've touched the post. They've gotten good things out of it. Oh, Gak. Ball is tough, so therefore no walk. And now they've made six shots in a row. Hurt whips it underneath. Great ball movement by Duke, but it doesn't lead to a shot until Stewart got all the way to the rim. The first three-point shooting team in the conference has made more. They've made four. And that's another three. This one from Isaiah Wong. Miami, it has to be a little weary. Very active on defense, reacting to every pass. Forcing some tough shots. Wendell Moore made the deep three for Duke. 16 points, five rebounds in this one. Alani, and all of a sudden, Miami is a three point machine. Magusti missed a floater. Would have given them a six-point lead to match their largest. We're under five minutes to go. Duke a little fortunate there. The ball got deflected right to Hurt underneath the hoop. Second in the ACC behind Justin Champetti. Oh, Pittsburgh. What a move by Isaiah Wong. Inching closer to what would be a huge upset. Having lost four in a row. All by double digits. Jalen Johnson inside to score. Got Miami to switch. All of a sudden, Jalen Johnson had a huge advantage inside. Nice play. Nice offense by Alani and Walker. It was Alani from Walker. The left leg of Goldwire on the way by. Tough to tell. Stewart replaces Goldwire beyond the arc. A big three for the Blue Devils. See how Jim Laranega plays it. Trying to run any time off the clock, and they get it to Wong, who knocks down a deep two. Are you kidding me? Instead of, are you kidding me, in the spirit of the evening, we should have said, surely you can't be serious. <laughs> Jalen Johnson, nice move, and he scores around Dang Gak. 
he has a, a couple of fouls to give as well. So you don't want to let Duke, you don't want to foul, but you don't want to let him have anything easy either. Jalen Johnson powers his way to the bucket again. Brooks backed off. Didn't do anything wrong, but that really set back the recruiting for a while. Here's a big bucket by Walker. Four games in a row in double figures for Walker. Prior to that stretch, he had been in double figures in four for his entire career. What a block by Brooks. That's why he was put back in the ball game to protect the rim. Have to have a three. They get a good look at one from the wing from Stewart. Goldwire got it back. That's a bit of a force. And it's two Duke players there to bat it out of bounds. All three percent for the season coming in. If I were Miami, I'd put guys on the free throw line here and go after the rebound. You don't have to worry about a foul. You got one to give. But as soon as they do bring it up, foul. Two huge free throws by Walker. Olani, he's been great. What an effort by Miami in this one. Hurt. Tries a three. Tip in. The eighth free throw of the year. And it's short. So a chance for Duke to tie it with two, win it with three. He can foul him. Hurt. Didn't and get it. The buzzer. And he didn't get it off in time. And that's it.